Tu sa idem pozrieť. So, entering around this time was a little bit later than I would have liked, but you know, I have an iron pick, I'm pretty far out. I have seven obsidian, which honestly isn't the best thing when I'm this far out already. Actually, I'm not even that far out. I wanted to go positive, that's right. Uh, so my X was more positive. So I spawn in the nether, I don't really see anything. I do have a crimson forest though, which is really nice because I'm able to trade even though I don't have any gold. Um, so I see a bastion and I turn on my view distance because lag, etc., etc. So I see a bastion and I have this gold here. So I decide I might as well mine this gold, make myself gold boots, play it safe. Um, and if this is a good bastion, we could be, you know, you know, why not? Yeah, honestly, like at this point I was thinking, let's do some bastion strats. It's been a really long time since I left the nether on a real run. Why don't I just, you know, play this out, honestly. That's re that's realistically what I was thinking. I wanted to just play this out. So I make myself gold boots. I'm looking at the minute I think I'll do my shit go pecklichku. I don't know what the technical term is. I know there's treasure spawn or bring on the bastion, eh? The nether wart and then there's this one. Um, I just call it pig face because that's what the gold thing looks like to me. And I actually play this embarrassingly bad. It's been a really long time since I did dash and stuff. And I actually... Tu ma celkom zlatičko naši, nie na spavne. Um, to je taká pohodička, by som so povedal. I, drop down, I, I decided to just build back up with the gold blocks because I didn't... I didn't want to take any damage from piglin and I didn't have any other blocks in my inventory, so... Why not, I guess? Um, I'm able to grab all this. And right now I'm at six minutes, which is really good pace. Um, I see a lot of piglin over there. So I'm thinking I'm going to trade on that high ground. The one block drops and I see two piglin down there. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. A third one falls and I see like five. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to throw all my gold down there, um, which is really nice. So it's normally a so I'm trading like two stacks of gold. And I already have seven obsidian. So I don't really have to worry about getting too much obsidian. I get a crazy amount though. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point I can already nether travel, which is dope. Uh, so it's here, So. I'm trying to get these Tak on má v 5 minutách, že to go obsidian, že si môže spraviť nový port. Kokot. Um, <laughs> two just did not want to did not want to come over here. Ja nikomu na ibe dio, koli tej hre. I should have my boots on at this point, but I was really trying to get them to come over and chase me. Podri sa. Ty sa obsidianom v 6 minúte. And they just were not cooperating at all. They just they just weren't. Um like this dude decides to go after a hoglin and then this other dude with a sword just wants absolutely no part of me. And at this point I still have zero pearls. Um there could be pearls in the in the uh, pit there, but I didn't see any. Um, so at this point, I still have no pearls. This dude was just not, he was not having it. He did not, there was nothing stopping him from coming up here and attacking me, but he just, he did not want to. Um, so here I get my first eight pearls, and then this hoglin comes out of nowhere, and I'm like, uh, let's not die. So I, I kind of hide in this hole. I put my boots back on so that other piglin doesn't attack me. And then I, I was hoping that, <laughs> the reason I punched the hoglin is I was hoping that because I had gold boots on and the hoglin was attacking me that the other piglins would start attacking it but that didn't happen so i had to kind of just sit here and uh regen i decided to double my ender pearl so i know i'm about to jump in this pit and hopefully i just get the amount of ender pearls that i need so i double them over i know this hoglin can't get to me now because he's stuck um <laughs> she's not spit out really i wanted a little bit more uh in hindsight hey, I no I said. left right now but I wanted a, one more trade for safety and you know I have so much gold down there what's it gonna take like a minute max I knew it wasn't gonna take that long and I get it um so I'm out I think that was probably it could it could have been three I'm gonna guess that it was four um it was probably four pearl trades um so like good luck on that but nothing like too crazy and I start pearling around and instantly find a fortress sorry um, <laughs> I need to but you are talk about random the minero bani cocot um so I'm looking at my cords here so the bastion was in the positive positive quadrant so i knew that the fortress was going to be in a different quadrant the fortress is in negative positive yeah, but not um which is great and i spawn or not spawn but i pearl not spawn him, I that, pearl. that pearl was extremely no, risky but i had fire res so i know it was fine i checked let's see that i have 150 still on my fire res and i decide you know what oh, screw it i might well take another one down oh, because i don't want to accidentally forget that i don't have fire res when i'm going for this these are still lepšie kedy so, kedem dohal prvý kráčer keď som dohal prvý deň keď som nevedel čo vlastne ani mám zbierať a koľko this gas is shooting at me. So, yeah, but that, that's what I'm going to do. I have fire res, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. I kind of just ignored him. Uh, killing the blazes, 0 for 1. And then I get 1 for 2 here. Uh, I actually had really good blaze rod. He doesn't have a shield, I think it's good. Which I guess is kind of, you know, it's a world record run. You're going to have good drops. Oh, but it's I believe I go 6, 4, 8 or something. Uh, I actually barely used the spawner. The spawner was not cooperating with me. Um, for anyone that's not familiar, Soul Sand Valleys 
have a higher chance of spawning mobs in fortresses, which will become very apparent in a second. Um, so spawners aren't even like quote unquote necessary. Obviously they're helpful, but not like super necessary. I was hearing a lot of blazes, so I was wondering where they were, and I could see that you know on my left there's like 50. Uh, two for three, three for four, no, but I don't. and I believe four for five. Yeah, so <laughs> I have four, and I'm trying to play it risky now. I decided to leave the spawner and just go for these blazes. Um, I decided to play it more safe and not go for the one kind of in that pit and just go for these ones out here. Uh, I really didn't want to hit the piglin, I don't. Um, I think about going to the and so far down to the And there's a wither skeleton that withers me to the left. Um, and I didn't realize at the time, so that was very scary. I jump over here because I know they're all going to chase me and they're all going to just fall, which they do, which is honestly pretty funny. Um, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, they all just kind of fell in this bottomless pit. Uh, I go six for seven and then six for eight and I see two more wither skeletons chasing me and I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'm out of here. I have six rods, I might as well just try and get out of here. And Poďa I decide to... to make a random portal instead of going back to my own because I'm like, you know what, to to me to me uh, we're going to random portal it. And let's just say that decision to failed. There's a reason you're watching this video. Uh, this is the cool moment of the video. I knew my cords, I checked my cords at the blaze spawner, I knew I was at a good distance to randomly teleport. And I spawned in an ocean cave, which was not great because I, I purposely went higher up because I didn't want to spawn in an ocean cave. And I still did. So not great there. Um, I still have to make my pearls. It's 11 minutes. Um, and at this point, I actually start to realize, like, okay, this is really good pace. Um, so I throw the first eye. And I proceed to then not catch it, which was honestly something that I never do. <laughs> I always catch the eye, so I was very disappointed in myself. But it actually is making the X go down slash up slash whatever you want to call it. So I'm thinking, yeah, Coco, that change. Nice just change something that's with it. Um, so I'm thinking that it means it's far away. I'm thinking that that means you know it's screwed. Shoot, that's it's gonna probably be pretty far. Um, but you know my Z is 1700, so I'm like, you know what? Let's throw another eye. Let's see if it's close. Maybe it is. We'll see. So you'll see. I take a side know. angle here. Když spadneš pekle a máš 120 goldů a fortresu vedla seba je uletík. A to jde na levé mě velmi hrát. To je jako 45 degrý angel. A jsem jako, um, did I miss throw my first eye? Is it actually right here? Uh, I actually haven't gone back in the world, but I don't see it in the water here. I was looking for it. I didn't see it. So I decided to just hop on land here and throw one more to just make sure that I'm not losing my mind and the stronghold is actually right here. And I throw it, and the eye goes directly down, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" At yeah. this point, I realize the pace that I'm on. I realize that this is absolutely insane. Um, I did not want this creeper doing anything to me, so I decided to just kill it. And now I do a strat called four four. So if you see the X Y Z underneath this block, and underneath that is chunk, you'll see that my numbers are four, um, and then a descending number because I'm digging down, and then four again. Um, what four four is is if you're digging in the correct quadrant of the staircase of the stronghold, like the origin staircase, you will fall in the middle, like I just did every single time if you're in 4-4. So I know that I'm in the start of the stronghold. It's not that way. I go over here. It's not over here. I'm like, where do I go? And there is the portal. And I'm like, oh my god. Perfect zero eye. I had 12 eyes, and I was good to go. And I have so many pearls. So you can kind of see in my movement there, I'm a little bit shaky, because at this point I'm realizing, oh my god, this pace is absolutely unbelievable. Um, so I hop up here, and this is honestly the thing that separates uh, my run in the previous world record. Uh, my end fight is really fast, and, you know, there's a lot of, you know, half of the end fight is luck, but I think the other half is, you know, the RNG manipulation that you do. Um, this is something that the previous world record did not have. Um, I believe, I actually haven't checked the splits, but I believe I enter the nether, or the end, slower than the previous world record. But I do manipulate the RNG by powering up and... I already see it perching. I'm like, this is insane. This is actually going to do it. I have my beds ready. I have my block ready. I have my pearl ready. I just need the dragon to come down. And I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And I'm hoping. <laughs> and finally, eventually, slowly but surely, it decides. And here we go. It is go time. I get rid of the pearl. I find my other bed. And here we go. The final one cycle. I, do you guys think I get it? Do you think I finish the one cycle? Um, I actually do it really early because I didn't want to screw it up. Uh, this one cycle is again awful, as is my 1.14 world record. Um, that is just because my nerves are out of control. 
and I did it in seven. So not the worst, not the best, but that is it. That's the world record. The new 1.16.1 world record. At the time of recording this, obviously it's not verified, but I have no reason to believe it won't be. So that's that. Thank you all so much for watching. Se draka dobi maja. Um, like I. To vam pici, ale hen, a najz. Ten první den jsem mal šťastě, jako když jsem u Maltejš přispávně, ale ty koho teraz, když už prostě vím, co spravit, abych zabít draka vyjebaného, tak teraz se mi to nestane, chápeš? Mm -mm.